Hi viewers, welcome to the channel and to a new video on 3D exercise. In this video, we'll design a simple 3D model using these all dimensions. Also, we'll see a particular feature during the modeling process of this model. I hope you like this video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And also, if you want to support the content of this channel, there's a link in the description of this video to my Ko-Fi page. Thank you. Now, let's see how to design this simple 3D model. Go to FreeCAD on Start page, create a new document, and then change the workbench to Part Design. And next, let's go to our Drink page here by the 3D view and the top view. We can start the modeling, tracing a sketch for this part here. Before we create a sketch here, as the default of Part Design workbench, we need to create a body to hold all modeling operations. To create a body, we need to click in this icon. And then we can create our freeze sketch. We just click on this icon to create a sketch and select the plane, XY plane for this first sketch. And now to trace this sketch here, we can use slot tool available in Sketch Drums of Sketch Workbench. This tool here, just click on this icon and start tracing this slot here in this origin point. And now click on this horizontal axis, okay? As you can see, we have two degrees of freedom here. Let's try to full constrain this sketch here, setting the dimensions of this sketch. First, let's select constrain radius, this tool here. And uh, let's constrain the radius of this arc here. Just click on this arc. As you can see, it's 45 millimeters. Let's change here to 45 and enter. Next, let's set the length of this line here. Select horizontal distance tool and click in this line. And now let's change the dimension to 50 and enter. As you can see, now we have the sketch full constrained. Let's leave this sketch. Just click on this icon, press home, and you'll see this sketch. Now let's make an extrusion of this sketch. Just select P2 and to the length here, we'll set 30. This dimension here, change to 30 and enter. And the next thing to do is to create this fillet on this face here, this fillet here. To do that, we need to select this surface here and then fillet tool. Now let's add the rest of this fillet. As you can see here, we have 10 millimeters. Let's change here to 10 millimeters and enter. Okay, and next we can create this part here. To do that, we select this top face here and we create a sketch okay and the next thing as you can see we need to draw a cycle on the top of this part here so what you do we go to sketch jumps and we select cycle tool and then we click in origin point and we draw this cycle so we have seven for the diameter of this cycle so what you do we click here and we select constraint diameter and now we just click here in the cycle and we set 7 for the diameter and now escape two times to leave the sketch and then pet tool and now let's set the length here the length here will be 15 we have 45 here and 30 so we'll set 15 here we'll set 15 here and enter now we have this and the next thing to do is to create this fillet here let's select this surface and then fillet tool the range here, as you can see, is 12. Let's change to 12 and enter. Okay, and now that we have this part here, let's create this thickness tree here. To do that, we need to rotate the model and select this bottom face and then select thickness tool, this tool here. Just click in this icon. And the thickness here must be inwards, so we check this option. And then we change the thickness to 3 millimeters, the size here, and enter. As you can see, now we have this. Okay. And also we have these fillets here. And the next thing that we can do is to create this chamfer here, this chamfer. So how we do that? First press home on your keyboard and next select this edge here. And select chamfer tool and change the size to... 2 millimeters and enter and next we can create this part here to create this part we can use active primitives we can use active cylinder 
we need to go to active prompt so part design and then click here in this arrow and select this option active cylinder as first step we need to select the plane for the cylinder we can select this face here and then we can change the radius to let's see here in this green page as you can see we have a radius of 23 let's change here to 23 and the height of this cylinder will set 3 millimeters as you can see we have 48 here and 45 the difference is 3 let's set 3 here and enter as you can see now we have this part here the next thing to do is to create this small fillet here select this face and then fillet 2 as default the radius is 1 so let's click ok and now we have this ok and the next thing to do is to create this this hole here to create this hole here we can create a sketch in this face here and also we can use that sketch to create this this all pockets here okay so we select this face here and then create a sketch okay and the next zoom in select cycle tool and sketch geometry this tool here and then click on origin point and draw the cycle and next we need to consider the rates of this cycle as you can see is 19 we can click here and select this option concerning radius and then click on this cycle and set 19 millimeters and now we have this and uh, next to create these pockets here we can trace another geometry here in this face okay so what you do first you can select external jump tool and extra this edge here to get the center point okay and next select arc tool and let's draw this arc here first just click in this center point and draw this arc and next select polyline tool to draw these two lines here just click in this point here and press them two times to draw a normal line and now click in center point and now click in this point here now escape and let's constrain this sketch first here what do you do select vertical constraint and constrain these two points here and next let's set this angle 130 just click here and select these two lines and change the angle to 130 degrees okay and next we need to set the range of this arc here as you can see is 20 we click here and select constraint radius and then click on this edge and set 20 okay and now we have this it's full constrained next let's trace this sketch here if we want we can hide these all constraints here to do that we just need to click in this icon and as you can see now we have this sketch clean just click in this center point and start drawing this arc here and click again and draw this arc and now what we'll do is to draw arc in these two endpoints here okay and the same here for these two endpoints okay and next let's apply tangent constraint for these points here escape zoom in and select this point here and apply tangent constraint and the same here okay and here in these two points will do the same tangent constraint and here also the same okay now we have this we have four degrees of freedom first let's select vertical constraint and constrain these two center points here now three degrees of freedom Next, let's set this ridge here, 3, select constraint radius, and then click in this edge and set 3 millimeters. Okay, and next, let's set this dimension here, 27, this distance. Select constraint vertical, and now just click here in the center point, and now in the center point, 27. Select constraint vertical, and now these two center points. And now we have this sketch full constrained. And next we need to trace this sketch here the small cycle what you do we select cycle tool and then we click in this horizontal axis and we draw the cycle and next let's consume the demo to just select this option and click in this cycle and set five millimeters one degree of freedom now what you do we select horizontal distance tool as you can see here we have this distance 45 millimeters from the center point of this cycle 
to the center point so we need to select the center point and the center point here and set 45 millimeters okay now escape two times so leave the sketch and next let's create a pocket select pocket tool and change the type to toggle and okay and the next let's create this chamfer here the size of this chamfer is one millimeters so we need to select this edge and then chamfer tool as default is one millimeters so let's click ok now that we have these pockets the next challenge is to create these five parts here looking at the disposition of these five parts we can create our first part here using a sketch and then use a particular feature as i said before to create a polar array of this first part here let's do that go to freecut and let's press home first and next let's create a new sketch just clicking this icon and for this sketch now we'll select this plane here exit plane select exit plane and now let's zoom in let's select external jump tool and what we'll do with this tool here is to extract this edge here this edge and also this edge here okay and the next what you do let's select polling tool and use this polling tool to draw this sketch here so first let's click on this endpoint and draw this line and now this horizontal line in this way and next click in this horizontal axis and click again and now just click in this point and the next press M three times to draw this arc and then click in this point here okay as you can see these two lines here is constrained okay we have three degrees of freedom so as you can see here we have this angle 120 degrees for this line and this line here what you can do is isolate constraint angle and then this line here and this line and change here to 120 degrees okay and next set this length here for this line 35 millimeters select constraint vertical distance tool and then this line here and set 35 millimeters and next as you can see we have 10 millimeters for this line here this horizontal line so we select horizontal distance tool and then click in this line here and set 10 millimeters and now we have this sketch full constrained skip two times to leave this sketch let's press home and now let's make an extrusion of this sketch let's select pet tool okay and we need to set some mat to plane okay as you can see here and the length of this extrusion must be 5 millimeters so we'll change the length here to 5 and okay it's okay just click okay and now as you can see we have this first part here okay and the next thing is to create a polar array of this part here to do that we'll use multi transform tool this tool here but first we need to select the operation so we go to the model tip and then select this last operation this pad and now multi transform tool and we go to transformations and here as you can see we need to make a ring click and from these options let's first select polar pattern select this option and now scroll down and the first thing that we'll do is to change the axis just click here and select select reference and the reference that will select will be this edge here and next we'll change the angle to 90 degrees as you can see here between this part here and this part will have angle of 90 degrees so what do you do we change the angle here to 90 degrees and let's see now now as you can see we have this part here and also we need to increase the occurrence to create this part here so we change here to three and as you can see now we have three parts okay now just click ok and now to create these parts in this side here what to do is to mirror this operation this polar pattern to do that we go to transformations and we make a right click and we select 
add mirrored transformation select this option scroll down and now what we'll do is to change the plane here to axi plane okay so just click here and select axi plane and click ok and ok and as you can see now we have this and this is all for this model okay we finish the design of this model it's very simple thank you for watching this video if you find this video useful please leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends and again if you want to support the content of this channel there's a link in the description of this video to my ko page thank you i hope to see you in the next video